Alright everybody, Bro D here with a uh, new Let's Play of another old game. Uh, this is the, uh, <laughs> the free game for uh, PlayStation Plus members, and it's uh, Resident Evil, the uh, HD remake. And well, clearly I have not started this game up before because <laughs> haven't uh, registered any of this stuff yet. But, yeah, we're going to create some save files. Okay. So, here we go. So, yeah, this is Resident Evil, the HD remake. Uh, yeah, that just came out on PlayStation for the month of October. And uh, I am going to be doing... Resident Evil. Ah, uh, that... That'll never be forgotten. Okay, um, so alternate, huh? Okay, I don't know, but I'm gonna leave subtitles on. I'm okay with everything here. I don't know about the whatever. Um, what? Um,. I I was gonna play this game on normal mode, but I completely forgot which one. Like climbing a mountain, filling, but takes a lot of work. Yeah, because I'm trying to unlock the right modes. Um, well, I totally forgot. Okay, <laughs> sorry for that cut. I completely forgot that Resident Evil does this thing with the. Uh, Thing, but it does go it goes normal easy and then very easy so uh i am going to be doing it on normal mode and i am going to be doing it with jill because just uh since this this is not a blind playthrough i have not i don't think i've played this game since the since the original came out in like 2002 like yeah or 2001 one it's it's just it's it's been a long time, um, but I will let the uh, cutscenes play and then. Around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City, where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. Found it yet? No, not yet. Brad. Bizarre yeah, murder cases have recently design. occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about ten people. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare.
Has to do that a bunch. That's kind of strange. But yeah, that's the first cutscene. You yeah, saw that Wesker had the samurai like edge. That. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. So our adventure begins. <laughs> For those of you who don't know anything about Resident Evil, it's a third-person survival horror game, which is pretty much maybe it wasn't the very first one, but it made it made what it is today. So yeah. Oh whoa. I'm used to the tank controls of the old game, but this actually caters to the analog stick and... Whoa, okay, so it must be R1. But... Oh, it's L1 to aim. Okay, that's fine. L1 is to aim. For some reason I thought it was R1. But it don't matter. L2 doesn't do anything, so... Oh. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Okay, since uh, since I have not played this game, or at least, yeah, it's been over a decade, I'm sure, since I've played this game. Um, I am going to be doing at least the trophy run where, one, I'm beating it on normal, and two, there is, um, well, just that for now, but, first cutscene, the zombie. So... Like always, if you want to conserve ammo, especially if you're playing on a harder mode, you always just walk back in and, and let Barry take care of him. Because Barry is just... He's just... Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth... Killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. Okay. So. I don't know why they didn't change that from the very early game. Which I do. I I, I grew up with the original Resident Evil on PlayStation. The... Oh, that's right. Crimson Heads. Wesker! Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Pretty sure all you gotta do is just run like one screen off and then just run backwards. No, really. Okay. Maybe.
maybe have to run. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, it's it's. I completely forgot. Maybe okay. There you go. And you just gotta. Barry. Any luck? Run like that. No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. <laughs> but I'm the master of unlocking. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Right, uh... I was gonna try to do a 100% run of this, which means... You have to get all the items in every room. So, by that, if the room is red and it's blinking, that means you haven't gotten everything yet, right? So, let me just demonstrate. Get up there. What exactly I mean. Now, I don't know about... I don't know if you, like, if you can beat the game and you get, like, a key to unlock costumes... I'm not actually sure if that counts as part of it. I actually didn't, um, I didn't research that because I actually just thought about that like right now because I just wanted to get some content up because I've been sick for the last couple days and uh, yeah, it's been, it's just not, <laughs> not conducive to uh, doing recording. It was just like, ugh, I was just dying. Okay, so, so I got the map, right? Pick up this. Okay, so. Yeah, these are defensive items. Okay, so you must press L2. And when you're on normal, you do have to press it like that. Uh, and triangle is the menu button. Okay, and everything is equipped. Good. Okay, so. Whoa, dude, a zombie. Yeah, that zombie is, like, huge compared to Jill. <laughs> oh, whoops. Should, the auto-aim, like, should be on. Oh, it's L1. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Okay. Get off. What the heck? Jeez. Wow, okay. <laughs> okay, wow. That was brutal. I just, yeah, I don't know the controls. I'm used to it being R1 and X to shoot, not L1 and R1. So, uh, yeah, that, that didn't help. But I don't really care. It's no big deal. But since I picked that up, now do you see how the room is white? Um... Or green. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you look up in the upper right-hand corner, it says 100% items and then in progress. So since I'm in the room, it's blinking. Even though I swear there's items in the main, like, foyer, or foyer, however you say that word. But, whatever. Um, and it isn't a very good idea to kill zombies because they do turn into crimson heads. Um, oh, right. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't remember where to get any of this stuff. I can't believe I let that zombie eat me up so much. <laughs> it's no big deal, though. If, you, if you're going to at least do what I do to uh, get, like, 100% of the items, then you'll have plenty of health. Um, yeah, okay this room as well. Man, I don't have any ammo. Forgot about that. 
Just see what's out here. Uh, I think you can get something out here. Just ignore this guy. Oh, man. Uh, the camera changed angles right there and screwed me up. There we go. What the heck? Yeah, I am not used to these controls. It, it's like really... It's like really weird. Okay, or not. Yeah, until you get the kerosene and the lighter, which Chris already has the lighter, so it makes dealing with zombies easier with him, but he's also much stronger than Jill, so, you know, I just, I thought there was something over there. I think there's actually shotgun shells, if I'm not mistaken, um, over there, but I just have no, I have no means to kill the zombies right now. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I'm totally, I totally do not remember this at all. But I do, I wonder what the controls are. I probably should look. Reload while aiming, huh? Okay. Change aiming target. Okay. Whoa, wait. I just want to see what the original is. Oh, what the... Oh, no, no. Go back. Hmm. Well, yeah, I'll just return the settings of default. Run. Yeah, L1 and R1. Okay. Change aiming targets, L2. I don't know if that has any effect on normal. I don't know if you, like, auto-aims. Wow, that took a really long time. Okay. <laughs> what the heck? No, go back to default. There we go. But it's still not the default controls. What the heck? That is a default. Go back. Okay. There we go. What the heck? Sorry for all the screwing around. It's just... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh my goodness, really. <laughs> you really just can't do anything in this game right away. I mean, obviously, it's just... Uh... Man, it's just been so long. I, I have no idea what to do. I know I know where stuff goes, and I think I know how to solve some of the puzzles, but uh, generally, I'm confused. I think there's probably a zombie like right in front of me, but... Okay, well there you go. Oh, okay, you can get used to dying. Wow. Hmm. I don't remember it being uh, that easy to die. But, oh wow. <laughs> hmm, that's really annoying. I wonder why it has to do that every time. Resident Evil. But let's see how fast it, I'll, or I'll just skip back to the uh, part that I was at. All right, everybody. Sorry for that cut, but since uh, since you get a trophy for dying, obviously I just want to show that off. So, yeah, in my first outing, uh, yeah, got pwned pretty much. Um, but you know, lack of knowing what the controls are, that is my mistake. So, yeah. Usually when they fall and start bleeding... Oh, oh I was like, okay, so he's certainly not dead, but now he is. Yeah, they never get up twice. That is a staple in the Resident Evil. Also, I realize that this is, once again, very similar to old Devil May Cry controls, which um, I could change it back to the to the tank controls of the original, but there is no reason to do that because you just don't need to do that in this game. Uh, 
Okay. I swear there were mo multiple zombies in here. Okay. Oh. But yeah, um, so it's still on normal. Obviously, I didn't get hit or bit or anything by the other zombies because I didn't know how to shoot the first time. Wow, okay. <laughs> right. You can't... Not one door. You can lock. Oh, man, I feel really dumb for killing that zombie. But, like I said, um, I am going to try to get 100% of the items. So, uh, yeah, speaking of that, um, oh, right, you can't go in here. They can't give you the bazooka that early, which is what is in that room. At least, it's called the grenade launcher in this game. Okay. So, <laughs> every door is locked but that outside door and back into where Barry is. And there's, and I'm not going outside to kill those zombies because you don't need to. There's no reason to do that. So, <laughs> see, yeah, like, yeah, it's so weird. Yeah, the camera and stuff. <laughs> Always gotta check. Oh, what the heck? I didn't know you could let him in. Wow, that is not good. But, yeah, I've got to kill him. <laughs> well, there aren't zombie crimson dogs, so... But that's what... Yeah, you can't do anything. Oh, wait, I didn't actually go through... Yeah, it is locked. Every single door is locked, but this way. I don't remember that being the case. But, um... Well, no matter. Of course. So, the reason I chose Jill... Uh, is plain obvious, because she has more slots. So, okay, and that screen I should not have skipped, but it's just... Tells you about how to use the screen, which, uh, in this, let me see, yeah, it's triangle, and, no, that's it, it's just triangle, okay, that's alright. Okay, and then, oh, hmm. I swear you had, uh, I swear you had ammo on him. Well, not on normal mode. Okay, so there's a zombie down there. Um, I'm not even gonna mess with that guy. Not when you're Jill. When you're Chris... When you're Chris, it's not so bad, because he's a lot stronger. I don't think his knife slashes, per se, are stronger. But, uh... But, I mean, he, he can just take a whole lot more of a beating... So, and, uh, I mean, of course, you gotta pick up your herbs. And I think, um, let's just look around. Okay. Okay, so there's herbs down here, but that's it. Yeah, see, like, right now I'm holding, I'm holding, like, the opposite direction of the way I'm running. <laughs> so, yeah, that's always weird. But, yeah, I'll try, you know, this will probably be... Um, this probably won't be too many videos, but I won't... Uh, not until I get a gun, I ain't messing with that guy. But or until I get some ammo. Okay, and I already know, yeah, and you can't do anything in this room. I already know that. Okay, so 
There we go. Here we go. Oh, I'm so dumb. I mean, it's no big deal. So, in the old games, uh, there was... Actually, we're going to go to no really quick here because you want to pick up the ammo first and then reload. And then I'll pick that up and also equip it. Like, I, I'm not going to be running around with the knife, like, at all. <laughs> you know, just, uh, it's, oh, what the heck? There we go. Well. Oh, I would like to kill that guy, but, okay, so I unlocked it, but. Well, eh, I wasted another defensive item and a few bullets, but... Shoot, I can only enter this room, like, one more time before that, uh... Crimson Zombie rears his ugly head. So, and you want to examine... This, right here. So that's that. For you. Uh, yeah, defensive items are pretty good, and they also count. You do have to find all of them. So, yeah, getting to a box is really critical. I had no reason to pick up the... Um, I had no reason to pick up the emblem, the wooden emblem that I'm carrying. There, there was absolutely no point to do that until you have the correct items to be able to make that work so that uh, that was a part on my bad but you know you got the spaces and let's just pretend that i'm probably going to be taking damage uh, you know a lot of places you gotta wait for this thing you have to come down here and do a lot of stuff um i'm sure that zombie will be blocking the way but i try i'm trying not to kill many zombies um, because of the Crimson Head zombies, they're, they're brutal. We take the Book of Curses, certainly. And this game does look better than the GameCube version, certainly. So, here's another... That's my mistake. I meant to go to examine. So here's another thing you want to examine. Obviously, there's a key. And then you get the Book of Curses, as well. So, uh, I'm just going to run through this pretty quickly. You can just pause it if you want to see all the stuff. Uh, you know, I, I know what's going on in this game, so. Just hope the zombie hasn't completely claustrophobic this area. Nice little move there. Where's the other one? Okay, just over there. Yeah, forget him. There are shotgun... Like, right now, I'll just tell you, I am certain there are... Oh, no, there's many things in this room, but there are shotgun shells over there. So... Okay, so... And actually, I have no idea what key I picked up. I think it's the sword key? Yeah. Okay. And the sword key, I think, is this room up here. I think. I meant armor. Like, the sword key only has, like, two... And it's, like, you also... Um, you always want to use your keys. Like, at, at just even if you're not going to that door, like, let's say the sword key opens both of these doors right here. Okay, so you go to this, even if you don't need to go in this room, you just tap it so you can get rid of the item so you can have more inventory space. Because when you use, when all the keys, uh, its uses are done, the key is discarded. And right now, that's good. Um, yeah, shoot. I'm just, I'm trying to get to a box. Or I could just waste all three of my ink ribbons I mean, I could. Um, 
fairly certain, yeah, you can push this, get a defensive item. Is there something under there? It does seem like there is something under there, right? Okay, and okay, it's a clip, which I can't pick up right now. So, gotta ignore it. But at least I know it's there. And that's another thing. I don't really, I know that sounds weird, but I don't really carry. Okay, so I use the lockpick, but I have no uh, space. Okay. I've, I'm certain there's a zombie in here, but I'm also certain... Let me just look here. So, okay. So there is something here. Like I said, I'm just unlocking or like touching every single door so I can get rid of this key. I'm just gonna until I can pick up something. I mean, I could I could use an item, but uh, in this room is the shotgun room. But I'm not gonna go in there because uh, Barry. It has to do with Barry living and dying, and I do want to. Since I'm getting all the items, I'm going to get the best ending. So this is also gonna be a best ending run as well. Um, this should be a helmet. Oh, Spencer family emblem is carved in the doorknob. Ooh, so hardcore. Ooh, that was very good. Since he's already down. Wow, his head exploded. You can re-pick up this? I don't remember that at all. Okay. Okay, that's cool. Um, very cool. I mean, I guess I got lucky. It's locked, emblem of armor. So, uh, yeah, the armor the armor one always had a lot of uses. Like, the armor always has, like, I think it's, like, four doors or five doors or something that the armor key. Just be careful, because I think there's a zombie here, yeah. He went down like a chump. You know what? What am I doing? I don't, I don't really care. Alright. So, okay, so, so he's dead, right? Okay. Okay, so finally we get to the box. <laughs> and a save point. And there may be... I think there's items in here already. So... Right, yeah, okay. So. I don't need that or that. Yeah, I'm gonna get gutsy. Probably shouldn't even, I don't even need the, the ribbon either, but. The fuel canteen, but you also need the lighter. Yeah. So that's like, that's like the whole gimmick of this thing, you know? Okay, special instructions for disposing of dead bodies. This is the, um... This is the notes that, or this is the note that is telling you to burn the bodies because of the Crimson Head zombies. Now, I also don't need that. And I don't need this. That's, I'm not going to get cute with it. I, I, you know. I trust that my survival skills and instincts will come back once I start doing a few things here but like you do have to pick up all the ink ribbons and I will save it but I am gonna keep going yeah I, I was trying to get to this <laughs> thanks game okay 
So, and I'm fairly certain that, you know, you save it. Yeah, and the color. Right. So. So, yeah, so that should be a normal save and all that. I don't, I'm not going to just, like, stop the cam, I mean, I'm not going to stop the camera, like, just, you know, everywhere, out of nowhere, okay. Just because, um, but I don't have the lighter, so that's, uh, that's going to be bad doing backtracking and what I'm, what I'm about to go do right now. Yeah, I think you can backtrack through that door like three times or something. And then the doorknob breaks and you can't go through there. Um, but that's not really a big deal. I'm just doing this right now because um, I still have a few, um, you know, I still have a few minutes to kill. Um, and, uh, and I wanted to go get this ammo right over here before I forget. I think I think some friends come to visit. So I don't know if, I don't know what's faster, if reloading, like, you know, to try to save time. I don't know if reloading is faster like that, or if going, well, going into the menu is obviously faster, but is it, though, because you actually have to pause the game, go to combine, and do that, but... Yeah, I remember this, this room being very sketchy about what happens, but... And so we can actually get through the entire room. So there is kerosene out there, which is something to remember. But always, always, always get get your first aid spray. That's the main thing. So um, now that I've done everything, see, yeah, I've done everything in this room now. So it's, I got 100% of the items. So, um, and yeah, and if you need to refill a kerosene... You're good to go. But you have no reason now to ever come back out here. There is just health in that plant food. So, I will go to one more room. Oh, wait. Let's, let me just make sure. Okay, yeah. So, I'm going to go into this room. <laughs> which, I just have no idea what's in this room. But the thing is, is that you never need to come back in this room. So... So, whatever's in here... You just grab it and get the heck out of the room, because I'm fairly certain. Yeah, there's a zombie or something. Okay, so regardless of whatever happens in this room, you don't ever need to go back to it. <laughs> so that's just it. So you just kill that zombie like that. And that's it. So, um, I'm not going to waste my time by going back to the save point and saving it and making you guys watch that. Um, I'm just going to move on. But yeah, this is uh, the, the intro in my first part with uh, getting a couple trophies from dying. <laughs> oh, man. Inexperience. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, so thanks for watching, and uh, see you next time.